Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to discuss yet one more bug with the uh, modern web browser control. Um, this one can be a doozy depending on your usage scenario. Uh, for some it will never be an issue whatsoever and others this can be a deal breaker. And thus why I just wanted to briefly touch upon it. So if you go on my website you'll see per the usual I have a blog article covering the subject matter. And what we have here is the fact that the new web browser control does not support mixed content sources. So what does that mean? How does it impact us? Well, if we look at my database, I have an example here of loading a local file. We press the command button and it loaded an HTML page. So if we just go to design view, go and check our event. What did it do? It loaded a file on my hard drive. Next, we'll demonstrate what we've demonstrated before, where we can press a button and load a web page. Once again, if we go into design view, bring up that command button, its event, it went and loaded a URL, a website, right, on the internet. In this case, Google. Now, where does the problem become an issue? Well, it has to do if you're trying to combine those two actions. So for instance, if I load a local file and then press a button to load, let's say, Google, nothing happens. Worse yet, we get no message. And worse yet, you go in the console, there are no errors logged. And you can do this while the dev tools are open, nothing ever shows up. So we're oblivious to the fact that there's an issue. And if I come here, and you'll see, I loaded here in the properties the uh, C, also on my local hard drive, a file, an HTML file. And then the command button simply did what it previously did, trying to load Google. Inversely, we could load Google and then press a button to load local content on our hard drive. Nothing will happen once again. And you can bring up the inspection, check out the console, do whatever you want. You will never get any messages pertaining to this action not working. VBA doesn't return an error, and the browser control itself doesn't return any information whatsoever. Now, some people are going to say to me, well, how does this impact us? Like, what purpose could we possibly have for this? Well, in my experience, what I've done several instances now for past clients is I've actually created a landing page. Now, obviously this is a very simplified version, but I would create something similar to this where I'd have subject matter with links to different websites, different areas that they could go get information from. Um, so I had this for office staff. I had done landing pages for engineering staff. I had different landing pages depending who you were and then all they had to do is click on a button to bring up that website as you can see here nothing happens so you know you want to give them access to different resources and they don't have to go and open their browser they don't have to go through their bookmarks and history and you just want to have a simple landing page well that can no longer be done through the new modern web browser control and like i demonstrated here the same command button that this link nothing works. There's just no way. Um, I also haven't found a way to reinitialize the web browser control outside of literally closing it and restarting it. So I had hoped there'd be some type of command we could issue here, but even that doesn't seem to, to exist. So that's the, the uh, crux of the matter here. Um, you can have local content, you can have web content, but you cannot have both on the same browser. Um, workarounds. Well, there are two that I've come up with that work. It all has to do with what type of content you're trying to uh, link to. Um, in the first place, if we're talking like what I'm showing here, so a local file that goes off to the internet, um, if your links go to web pages that support the old web browser, well then use the old web browser. Basically, don't upgrade. Um, the upgrade is crippled and restrictive. So if you can get away with using the old web browser control, uh, more power to you, stick with it. 
Now, in the cases where no, the old web browser just doesn't support the websites, um, what option do we have? Well, the option you have is to actually make two web browser controls and uh, superimpose them. So you're going to have one for local content and you'll have another for web content. And through using the web browser's click event, a little bit of JavaScript, you can identify what link has been clicked and then uh, navigate to it in the appropriate web browser control. It's a little convoluted, but it does work. So you can get around this limitation yet again, uh, but realistically, we shouldn't. And that's why I'm going to just mention yet again um, that I've added one more uh, suggestion. I would request anyone that does any serious work with the web browser control, just click and go and upvote the uh, suggestion here. So just come and vote it up to get Microsoft's attention and so they remove this stupidity. Um, th there's no justification for it. The simple fact of the matter is, and let me demonstrate, um, you know, some people will say this is done for security. Well, then why is it I can open it in Edge, click on it, and I have no issue? So if there's a security issue that is so important that we need to restrict it in access, then why wasn't it restricted in Edge itself? So the, the argument of security just doesn't hold water in this instance. So basically, at the end of the day, we have a control that has been crippled. And it, these things need to change. The same thing with the trusted domains. Oh, and I should mention here, um, for anyone curious, um, if you even go to the extent of adding a trusted domain table, which I did, and pre-authorizing, sorry, click the wrong button. If you pre-authorize Google domains, as you saw, it makes absolutely no difference. The trusted domain in this instance has no impact on mixed source content. So I was hoping that maybe that was a way around it, but even that doesn't work. So needless to say, um, for some, this has zero impact, but for others, this is catastrophic. And uh, just thought I'd bring it to your attention today. Thank you, as always, for spending a couple minutes of your day with me. I hope this is somewhat informative and will avoid some headaches for a few people out there. And we will see you in the next video. If you don't mind, like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it and allows me to continue to make more movies like this. Take care, everyone.